this story. It comes around every year, and it came around this year. It was in the Daily Mail, January 1st. Wild theory claims the world actually ended in 2012 when we are now living in an apocalypse chaos. A resurging online theory uh, suggests that the world ended on December 21st of 2012, tied to the Mayan calendar, with humanity now in a simulation or parallel university, uh, universe, sorry, parallel <laughs> university. university. Uh, believers cite recent global turmoil, which we saw just this past weekend, as evidence of a post glitch universe. Experts are dismissing it as baseless. Some of the things that people point out to, they claim that the uh, the large high, uh, hadron collider, which is uh, based at CERN, uh, it actually created a black hole. Uh, the LC, the LHC, which you see right there, the Large Hadron Collider, is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. Um, it has been the subject of numerous conspiracy theories, including claims that its high-energy collisions could create microscopic black holes or open portals to another dimension. Surely this is just the Daily Mail trying to capitalize, considering the timing. This story coming out on January 1st after the December 31st uh, f series finale of Stranger Things. That's the only reason you'd write this article at this time, right? Because there, yeah. it, that shows literally about a parallel universe and black holes. Um, other things that people point to, the Mandela effect, and I know we have examples of that. For instance, the Berenstein Bears. Uh, at one point, they claim it was spelled with an A, as you see on the right, but it's always been with an E. Actually, it's, Other way it's around. the opposite. So what you're seeing on the left is what they tell you has never existed and it has always been the, the one on the right got bears. you so it's they claim that it's always been spelled with an e a a they they, al they say it's always been spelled with an a if you remember it e so the people are that are living in this post apocalyptic world they see it with the e instead of the a yes okay let's go to the next example the monopoly man uh has never had a monocle according to Mandela yeah. effect denier. There's a couple more. I hope you have the fruit of the loom thing. We I do. We oh do. But yeah, there, there it is. Go. Yeah. No. I definitely had the one on yep. the left. Yep. Yeah. They tell you fruit of the loom has never had a cornucopia. I distinctly recall learning what a cornucopia was by asking my dad what I was looking at in the fruit of the loom logo. Your dad's and a liar. He, he said, you too. That's a cornucopia. So maybe my dad's a deep state agent, but <laughs> and he's been working to trick you since yes. you've been side up. Humberto, do you ever remember the cornucopia on the left? Not a big underwear guy. T-shirts too. T -shirts they're quite too. frankly not wearing them now. Hate them. Hey, I love that. But, uh, what, are, what is your preference? Briefs. Briefs. <sighs> Briefs. Yeah, yeah. Briefs. If I'm yeah. not jeans, I'm I can go skin. commando. I go skin to jeans. That's it. Okay. That's weird. Uh, okay. No way. Come on. Have, no. you, have you seen the damage Respect that can yourself. be inflicted by the zipper on a pair of jeans? I'm married. Like, There's very little <laughs> area to damage. And if they were, it's not like they're using. They're hurting a tool that's always in use. Spoiler alert. Before the marriage, there was very little area mm. to damage. Okay. How, how, how would you know that, Drew? <laughs> oh. uh, what's the next one that we have here? Oh, Curious George. Uh, people claim. I've never remembered him having a tail. I've always remembered him being mm. tailless. Now, See, I remember him not uh, only ever not having a tail. However, I do remember from a very early age being confused by you remember what was the opening line of every curious did you draw that George tail in I did not. Somebody else did to try Jeez. to try to I don't know what it. is it? The opening line of the Curious George books. This is George. George is a monkey. He's a good little monkey but always very curious. Well, you will remember if you think back to learning about animals as a child, monkeys have tails. Apes do not. So George is described as not a good little ape, which would mean he has no tail, but a good little monkey, which means he should have a tail. So either the books are wrong, or George used to have a tail, and then the Hadron Collider erased it from our memory for some reason. Oh, all right, let's it, see. The, get, the, getting, getting deep on the curious George lore here. And what's the final one? I, I think that's it. That's, oh, the, and then, yeah. of course, uh, there was one Darth Myth. Vader's. One of the most quoted lines Jeff. in movie history, Look. I've always heard is wrong. It's... It's not Luke, I am your father. That's it's what it's I've, no, I am your father. But I've always heard it as Luke, I am your father. And it's always mm. been cited in popular reference as Luke, mm. I am your father, not no, I am your father. Well, you know, other examples, it's like Jif for Jiffy for the, yeah. the peanut butter. Uh, probably the most well-known example is the 
the fact that Sinbad was never in a genie movie called Shazam. Shazam. And they tell you you're confusing yeah. it with a movie Shaquille O'Neal did called Kazam. Both existed, both and I remember them existed. distinctly. Yeah. yeah, but wouldn't there be a VHS tape? Can somebody just ask, what is uh, no. Sinbad doing? He's probably uh, no. working at a car wash. Sinbad yeah. said it never happened. Yeah, someone asked him. So they got to Sinbad. Yeah, they got him. Damn, there's nothing safe. Larry Ellison got to Sinbad, too. Okay, so, um, do you guys believe we're living in a post-apocalyptic 2012 universe in which uh, we all are actually dead, and this is just some type of simulation? What, is this it's, like the series finale of Lost? Seriously, right. I, I 1,000 percent, but I, I subscribe to Connor's theory on the whole thing. I, I defer to him. Yeah, no, simulation theory... And it's become increasingly popular. Elon Musk, Neil deGrasse Tyson, like a lot of the no, but supposed the fun sm- one. smartest guys in the world. <laughs> like. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that in a second. But I'm saying on simulation theory, it's basically just a roundabout way of people trying to explain God without having to acknowledge God exists. Because if we're all computer programs inside a machine created by an all-powerful being that is running this simulation, how is that any different from a God who created the universe? The only reason people are embracing simulation theory is because if God is a computer nerd rather than a supreme being, he doesn't expect you to do anything, and there's no moral obligation placed on you. But, I mean, the one Humberto's referencing, my theory is that we are actually living in a post-apocalyptic hellscape. It just happened in 2016 after they shot Harambe, Harambe at the Cincinnati Zoo. Because have you felt alive since they killed that gorilla? Do you remember what happened after they shot Harambe? The whole internet lost its mind for a couple months, and then immediately after that, Donald Trump won the 2016 election, and we got everything else that's played out Yeah, since. wasn't there, like, and pardon my language, wasn't there a dicks up for Harambe yes. at one point? What yes. was that about? Dicks out for out? Harambe. It was out. It, yeah. Come on. Oh, you, out, you got, not you, up. Yeah. No, up. It's, a, it's a lifestyle, man. you got to embrace it. But I, I think it was a, the moment that kind of broke everything and sort of threw us into some sort of hellscape dimension that we've been stuck in ever since. There's a comedian, Dean Napolitano. Yeah. He has a great joke about Harambe where he goes, I don't know why they shot the the gorilla. They should have shot the kid. If the kid is three <laughs> and climbing into monkey cages, what is he going to be doing at 13? And what is he going to be doing at 26? Um, but yes, rest in peace, Harambe. Dick's apparently out for you. 2012 also seemed to be around the time that things started getting crazy on college campuses. It's like when the race stuff started getting pushed. It's when they started to be able to get us to argue about the basic fundamentals of biology, like what is a man or what is a woman. So like, there's part of me that believes that it's definitely a possibility. And there was some data that had gotten leaked in like 2023 saying that they hid some of the data from their 2012 experiments. I don't remember what it concluded. But, who, um, who hid? The sir. gays? Oh, no, oh, I'm sorry. I got confused no, with the, the transgender. The, gay, the gays have been experimenting for, <laughs> since long before 2012. With black holes and all of that. Okay, so, to, so 2013, there's an experiment that they do, and then they cover up. 2012. 2012, which yeah. is the same time the Mayan calendar ends. Right, which is they hid unstable particle data. What that means, I really don't understand, but they were hiding information from that experiment in 2012 when the world started to get crazy. Humberto, do we live in a simulation, or are we, in fact, in reality, oh, man, I wish we live in that simulation. Like the thing is that, I, it, man, it hasn't been insane enough. All right, like what, <laughs> I, what, what, like what I really want this year is someone to come up with an Adderall vape. All right, because <laughs> once we get there, maybe I'm in. <laughs> I was in Austin, and they have caffeine ones that you can get in Austin, Texas. They're like 24 karat gold. They sell them in vending machines. Caffeine so we're almost vape. there. Yeah, we're almost there. Well, imagine how hard we, we will probably go to the moon again if we get Adderall vapes. Yeah, we go I to the moon again and again, and, and we <laughs> circle the moon and we hit Pluto for each a other, bit. Just a bunch of millennials climbing each other to the moon on Adderall vapes. So if you like this clip, click right here. And if you want to see more like it, click right here. Stay angry, Patriots.